how to not suffer or die prematurely. So what blood markers matter for what supplements? So with my protocol, there are really only a couple main concerns. The biggest one is insulin sensitivity. The further away I remain from diabetes, the better my overall health will be. Of course, what has the potential to inch me closer toward diabetes? increasing IGF-1. So with any growth hormone and IGF-1 boosting agents like MK677 or the growth hormone enhancing peptides, I monitor my HbA1c. It's a good proxy for insulin resistance. So I make sure it remains constant or decreases. Next, it's really only a concern if I'm running a SARM cycle and that is testosterone suppression and my liver enzymes. So this is hardly a concern with AC262, especially if I'm taking Tudka and Enclomiphene and or Blue and Black Ox but I still monitor my testosterone and liver enzymes periodically. Everything else is, is just kind of troubleshooting. So let's say I'm taking clomiphene and MK677 and I had some sort of libido issue, then I would want to test my prolactin and SHBG. If prolactin is too high, I would lower my MK dosage because sometimes MK677 can increase prolactin. If my SHBG is too high, maybe I would take a little more blue and black ox and a little less in clomiphene because in clomiphene in some people can raise SHBG more than blue and black ox generally do. If both are okay, then it's probably an estrogen imbalance issue, in which case maybe I'd lower the dosage of in a little bit or add in some more DIM and indole 3 carbonyl or simply some black ox, which contains them both. And that will probably be pretty beneficial. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus Chi Chi. It is in the description below.